In this class, we are going to learn how to generate SSH key pairs that is public key and the private key with the help of command prompt on our Windows computer. In our previous classes, we had seen how we can generate SSH keys with the help of Linux terminal. We had made use of Ubuntu distro on our WSL on Windows computer in order to demonstrate the use case. Also, we had seen how we can generate SSH keys with the help of Putigen application which comes out of the box with Windows 11 operating system. If you have not watched those classes, please check out those classes before proceeding with this class. In order to generate the SSH keys with the help of command prompt, first thing we need to make sure is open SSH client is enabled. We need to go to settings. So let me click on this settings app. From the settings, we need to click on this applications. So the navigation might vary in our case. After this, we need to click on this optional features. Just scroll down and check whether open SSH client is available on your computer. If you have not installed this open SSH client, then you can install this feature as well. So let me close this application. Next thing is we need to go to search, search for CMD that is command prompt. Right click on this and click on run as administrator. If you get a prompt, click on S. Now we need to run the command like what we had seen in our previous classes. That is with the help of this command, I am making use of Oracle's documentation on how to generate SSH keys. I am writing the command that is SSH minus key gen space. Next we need to select the type of algorithm with which we are going to generate the key. And I am making use of RSA. There are a lot of algorithms available to generate the SSH keys. RSA is the default one. Next is the number of bits. I am increasing the security of the key by increasing the bit size to 4096. So default is 2048. If you run only SSH hyphen key gen, it will consider RSA as the type and 2048 bit size. Apparently, if you want to add any comments in order to uniquely identify your key, you can add as well. I am clicking on enter. So it is saying generating your public and the private RSA key pair. Next, it will tell the location where it will install the SSH key. In my case, it will be users and the username dot SSH folder it will create and ID underscore RSA will be our private key. Also, it is going to create one more key that is ID underscore RSA public key with the dot PBU extension. I am keeping this default as I don't want to change the directory. If you want to change, you can provide the path over here. Click on enter. So it is asking for the passphrase. This is used for encrypting private key with the password. So this will enhance the security of the private key. Suppose if your computer is accessed by a lot of people and they come across your private key, then they must know the passphrase as well in order to SSH into any servers. I am keeping this empty and clicking on enter. If you want to populate the detail, then just provide the password and click on enter. You will get another prompt saying enter same password again. If you have entered the passphrase in previous step, you need to provide the same over here and you need to remember this passphrase until you don't change your keys. Click on enter. It has generated the keys for us. Let us now verify installed in users, the name and the dot SSH. Let's navigate to that folder. It was under users, the username. We have to search for the folder it has created today. I am recording this class on 30th of August 2022. Click on this. So this has created two files. One is the private key. It is not having any extension. And if you see the type. And the next one is the id underscore rsa. This is the public key which will have dot pbo extension. Let's check in the properties. Sorry, it is dot pub extension for public key. Like this, we can generate the SSH key pair that is private and the public key in open SSH format with the help of command prompt. This will make the life easy so that we don't have to install the Windows subsystem for Linux and the Linux distros on our Windows computer. Also, we don't want to have the Putigen application installed. So we can create the SSH keys right from the command prompt. 